What's up everybody, Negative Motion here, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play emulators on your Mac and then um, use a Xbox One controller to play those emulators with, if you get what I mean. Um, so this is a really simple process, uh, it doesn't really require any third party uh, like um, hardware, all you're going to need is the Xbox One controller itself and then the plug that plugs your Xbox One controller into the Mac. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing you want to go uh, go get is the like driver for the Xbox One controller. It says Xbox 360, but this does work for the Xbox One. It's like really good. It's developed by Frantic Rain. Um, I've been using this for a while and it works just fine. And yeah, so what you want to do is I'll leave a link to all of the. These are the three things you're really gonna need, like three websites you're going to need to go to. I'll leave the links down below. Um, so first of all, this for the three uh, for the driver, you're going to need um, uh, this DMG. So just click this. You don't need any of this source, co source code stuff. Uh, and it'll just do a normal DMG straightforward uh, download installation process. So it won't be very, very complex to do. It should be pretty straightforward, so I won't go through the download things, but uh, once you do uh, download it, it'll ask you to restart your Mac, and then when you do, uh, go into System Preferences, and first of all, make sure that this Xbox 360 controllers thing is here, uh, this pane, because if it isn't, then you'll ha you're will you probably doing something wrong, just re-look uh, and see, but if it is, then plug in your Xbox One controller right now, and it should buzz to life. And once you go into it, it should like up here say Xbox One Wired Controller. And then start moving some of the buttons and uh, clicking them. And if they light up and stuff, that means it's working well. And uh, you can go on to the next step, which is downloading the emulator. Uh, now this uh, open emulator is a really good emulator source because like it can you have a bunch of different emulators on one application. So just click download now, it'll be a zip file, and then you just unzip the zip file, and it should bring you to the application right away, and then just drag that into your downloads folder. I meant, sorry, applications folder. And um, once you do that, uh, you can you should be able to open it up. Right, like right over there. You should be able to open it up, and yeah. As you can see, there are tons of consoles uh, you can use uh, to emulate. So, like, you can emulate a even PlayStation, Sony PlayStation, probably the older ones. But like these uh, disc-based games have special requirements. So, uh, yeah. But like, you know, all of these ROM games, all the classics, they should work fine. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you like the Nintendo DS, just because. It is much simpler to do. It's like because it's a uh, like the hardware and the controls on the Nintendo DS are like pretty similar to the Xbox One controller. So yeah. Now once you do, you're gonna need games, and to get games, you'll need the uh, you'll need to go to this uh, website, Emu Paradise. It is safe all the downloads from this. Just make sure you don't click on random pop-ups, and it should bring you to uh, like this page. Uh, I'm just downloading Pokemon Heart Gold uh, version, but you can virtually download any game. And uh, it should, if you click on it, it should bring you to this page, uh, which is the Pokemon Heart and Gold version uh, ROM. And it'll have a bunch of like quick navigation info. Just go to download links, and once you do, it'll say it'll like have a bunch of these uh, screenshots and stuff. Just go to this top thing, and it should say down right here. Click on it, and um, they're preparing your download link. So just scroll down. You might need to verify that uh, verify yourself with the Kapacha thing, but I already did, so uh, it should it. I didn't need to, but um, yeah. So once you do that, you won't need Chrome again or whatever uh, browser you're using. So now going um, you'll need to download. Uh, unzipper for like dot rar files. So a great one I find is um 
on Archiver, the on Archiver, it's a just go, it's right on the App Store too, so it's really simple to get. It's really uh, useful because like it can un uh, unzip a bunch of different formats. So, for example, we're going to be needing to unzip uh, this package. So, let's open with the unarchiver. It should come up as the default. And once you do, you have a file. So now, uh, go into Open Emu and drag this onto it. And now, as you can see, it's downloading. And once it downloads, just uh, let's play the game. And yeah, you can, by clicking this, you can go to full screen, but uh, what we need to do right now is set up the Xbox One controller. So, plug in your Xbox One controller, then uh, make sure that it is plugged in from the system preferences. Go to uh, this gear icon, which is the settings. Go to the top and select edit game controls, and the game should pause while you're on the screen. So now, as you can see, like, for you, it might, first of all, come up as keyboard, and it'll have, like, all the, you can change, if you want to use the keyboard, you can change, like, the, th um, buttons just by, you'll select it, and then you'll click the button you want to change it. So, like, in that case, I just clicked F, let's say I wanted S, you know, if you want to do W, A, S, D for that, you'll put W, and then you'll select that, and then you'll just click S. And yeah, you'll keep doing the same thing. But uh, we want to use the Xbox One con uh, controller, so go to Xbox One, and um, yeah. So all these buttons, you'll have to mess around and figure out which ones are which. Uh, just do the same thing. Select one button, select one of these, make sure it's highlighted. Then uh, it'll show you which one is which from here, from this magnifier thing. Then click the button you want to replace it with. And yeah, it automatically does come to like... Uh, you know the D-pad's gonna the D-pad on the Xbox One controller is gonna correspond with the D-pad on the uh, Nintendo DS. So yeah, you can mess around with that, find uh, your personal personal preference, and yeah, that's it pretty much. You don't you can obviously download. So now, like right now, you know you're skipping. You're, I'm just doing all of this for now. So you kind of like. Uh, you can change the mic and stuff. Now this part, you know, like you'd go down here and there's pro there should be like yeah a mic right here, button seven and yeah. So you'll have to figure out how that works. But anyways, uh, you can uh yeah that's it. Uh, it's a really simple process. It doesn't require like. Uh, really anything you need to buy unless you don't have one of the plugs for the Xbox One controller and if you want the Xbox One controller but that's really it hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this I should have a video coming out on like some of uh, some special tricks on Google that you can do like uh, you can actually have a moving profile picture for things and yeah so uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.